percent sales tax and discounts. We are going to look at how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents, apply problems involving sales tax and discounts, determine percent increase, decrease, and then look at different ways that percentages are abused. So I'm going to start out with a fraction, fraction decimal percent triangle. So to convert a fraction to a decimal, you're going to divide. From decimal to percent, you're going to multiply by 100, or the way you could look at it is move your decimal two places to the right. So move decimal two places. So see how this is going to the right? So move two places to the right. If you want to go percent to fraction, you're going to put the percent um, over a denominator of 100 and simplify because percent means out of 100. To go from percent to decimal, you divide by 100 or move decimal two places left. So this is right. So percent to decimal, move it two places to the left. Decimal to percent, move two places to the right. Percents are out of 100. The word percent means per 100. So to express a fraction as percent, you're going to divide, just like this says divide. And then you can either multiply by 100 or just move your decimal over two places to the right. I mean decimal to places to the right and then add your percent sign. Let's express 5 over 8 as a percent. So what we'll do is we'll divide it. So 5 divided by 8 and you can put that in your calculator. 5 divided by 8 so it's 0.625 And then you're going to move your decimal. One, two. So that means it's 62.5%. So divide and then move your decimal to places to the right. I'm going to put a little arrow there. This is right. Press the decimal as a percent. You're going to move the decimal two places to the right. So that's a percent sign. So if I have 0.47 as a percent, we are going to go two places, and that means it's 47 percent. 0.50 as a percent would be 50 percent. One, if you have one as a percent, that would be 100 percent because you'd move it over two places. All right, this says to express a percent as a decimal. So we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to go left. One, two places to the left. So one, two. The decimal starts at the end. Um, if there's not one, it starts at the far right, right before the percent sign. It's going to be 0 0.19 or 0 0.19. 180% move over two places. So that'd be 1.8. Percent is gone. Once you move your decimal, the percent goes away. Percent, sales tax, and discounts. So let's start with percent of a number. So the word of implies multiplication. So A is P percent of B. So what you'll do is you'll multiply the percent times whatever B is. We use this formula to determine sales tax collected by states, counties, cities on sales tax items or sales items to customers. So you do your tax rate times your items collect. So we will convert this percent to decimal. All right, let's look at the example. It says use A equals P times B. It says what is 7% of 500? So first thing we want to do is we want to convert this 7% to a decimal. So I'm going to rewrite 7, move my decimal over 1. 2.07. And that's what I'm going to multiply times 500. So 0 0.07 times 500. And I use parentheses, so I'm going to put a dot and get myself all confused. So 0 0.07 times 500. 
35. So the way you could write this is 35 is 7% of 500. The next one gives you a, another, a different kind of unknown. It says 29% of what number is 37.7? So we're looking for what the number is. Um, so 29%, so we're going to change this to 0.29 because we'll move the decimal over 1, 2. So 0.29 times some number, because it says of what number, is equals 37.7. So 0.29 times something to get 37.7. So it's going to have to be bigger than this. Um, the way I like to work these is like an equation where this is being multiplied with that. So to find out what this is, I'm actually going to divide by 0.29. And so then I can do 37.7 divided by 0.29, 130. It should be larger because you're doing 29% of some number. So it's got to be bigger than 37.7. Um, then we can rewrite it. And we could rewrite it um, kind of like this. 37.7 um, is 29% of 130. So that's, that's written in the same form as this. Because it says 29% of what number? So that's why I put of B. All right, these sales tax problems, um, this is similar to probably what you do whenever you go shopping sometimes. Suppose that the local sales tax rate is 7.5. You purchase a buy for 894. How much tax is paid? What is it by total cost? So we are going to use sales tax equals the tax rate times the item's cost. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this. One, two. And there's not anything there. We're going to put a zero. We're going to multiply that times our item's price. So it's a sales tax amount equals tax rate to 0 0.075 times the item's cost. Sixty-seven oh five. That is our taxes that will go to the government. So the tax paid is sixty-seven oh five. So to find your total cost, you've got to add on. You've got to add how much you're buying the bike for plus your taxes, and that will be your total charge. That's going to be what you need to pay the store. The total cost is $961.05. Okay, percent and sales price. Businesses reduce prices or discount to attract customers and to reduce inventory. Discount rate is a percent of the original price. So sometimes you'll walk into the store and be like 25% off all shirts or 75% um, clearance. So you've got to know what your discount rate is. And then you've got to multiply it times your original price to come up with your discount amount. Then you have to subtract it. So um, you'd have to do your original price minus your discount amount. That'll get you your sale price. So once you find your discount amount, you have to take that away or subtract it from your original price of that item. So the first example says a gaming laptop with the original price of 1,460 is on sale, 15% off. What is the discount amount? So we do need to convert 15% by moving the decimal, so 0.15. So to find our discount amount, we're going to multiply our discount rate. Our weight is a percent, so that's another word for percent. Times our original price, 1460 And we are going to find out what that discount amount is. It's 
So that's how much money they're taking off of the price. So now you've got to subtract. So I'm going to find my sell price. Part B. I'm going to do 1460 minus the 219. One thousand two hundred and forty one. Right. Now let's look at it in a graph form. How do we find a percent using graphs? So a graph shows a breakdown spending for the average household using 365 days worked as a basis of comparison. What percentage of work time does the average household spend paying housing and household operations? So we're looking at what percent. So 100% would be the whole thing. That would be all 365 days. We want to find out how many days which is 64, out of the 365, what the percent is. So we'll do 64 out of the 365. Sixty-four out of the 365. That equals 0. 0.175. I'm going to do three numbers past the decimal, and then I'm going to move my decimal because they want percent. So 1, 2, 17 and a half percent. is going to go toward housing and household operations. Percent change. So you can have a percent change that is an increase or decrease. So um, if the amount went up, it would be the amount of increase. If the amount went down, it's the amount of decrease. Find the percent increase or decrease by expressing the fraction in step one as a percent. So here is a real-world ex uh, example. The bar graph shows that life expectancy, the number of years newborns are expected to live in a particular region, has increased dramatically since ancient times. Find the percent increase in the average life expectancy of the region from ancient Greece to 1980. Okay, so it's a, an increase that we're finding. So we are going to do amount of increase over the original. So our original would be ancient Greece and AG. Um, amount of increase is what is the difference between AG and 1980. And we're going to express it in a um, positive number. So you can do the absolute value bars or you could flip it around. This just means whatever answer I get, I'm going to make it positive. So ancient Greece, right here, 1980s is right here. So we want to find what the change is. 26 minus 16. So it's 34. So the amount of increase is 34 years over what our original was, 26. Okay. And then one as percent, 34 out of 26. So it went up a lot. So let's see how much did it go up. 1.30, okay, eight, because that is going to round. Then move your decimal over one, two, 130.8%, so 131%. If you want it as a whole percentage. So you have to look at what is it. Does it want it if with one number behind the decimal or no numbers behind the decimal? Okay, the last example. Abuses of percent. John Tesh, while well, he was still co anchoring Entertainment Tonight, reported that PBS series The Civil War had an audience of 13% versus the usual 4%, an increase of more than 300%. Did he use it correctly? So that he's saying you multiply the 4 times 3. And you get 12, which would be 300%. That's what he's saying. So let's see what the actual was. Amount of increase. So they went from 4 to 13. So it's actually 9. So it went up by 9, 9 percentage points, over the original 4. 
So we go divide it nine divided by four. Three point two five. Move your decimal over one, two, so that's 225% increase. So him reporting that it was 300% is wrong. He was just multiplying three times something to get close to 13, but that's not how it works. It's amount of increase over original amount. But that's it for these notes.